प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल नॉलेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर फॉर लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड स्मार्टफोन वीडियोस हैड दिस वन फॉर 24 आवर्स एंड आई एम प्रीटी इंप्रेस्ड विद व्हाट वी हैव ऑन ऑफर हियर विद द 6T लेट्स मेक दिस वन शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट बिगिनिंग विद द प्राइसिंग $549 गेट्स यू ए OnePlus 6T I could think of no phone in this price range that's giving you this. You would have to pay hundreds more to get a phone that's giving you this much in this price point. Okay, so pick up a OnePlus 6T and here's what comes in the box. First of all, I seen I got a little letter from the OnePlus CEO. Haven't seen this before. I'm not going to read it here on camera, but it's in cursive and that's that's a nice touch, you know. Welcome to the OnePlus community. You have your warranty information in there as well. It also comes with a case. I love when you get cases with a phone because you're protected right away right when you get the phone. You don't got to worry about finding a case and with a OnePlus device, accessories are not going to be available everywhere. Dash charger, although the OnePlus 6T doesn't support wireless charging, that is a fast charger. An included dongle, you don't have to buy this separately, but you do you lose your 3.5 mm headset jack that you used to have on the prior OnePlus 6 which some people are not going to like about the 6T but that is there. It's your USB-C cable that goes into the dash charger. So overall, I actually like this unboxing setup. It's pretty clean, neat and it gives you a few touches that you don't see in other phone boxes like an included fast charger as well as a case and there's a pre-installed screen protector on the 6T right off the bat, perfectly installed. So this is protected right when you get it, which is an awesome touch. For the 6T. Okay, so here's why the OnePlus 6T is a winner when it comes to the design and build, and that's mostly because of for the price, you're getting a phone that feels super premium. You have a glass back on here, Gorilla Glass 6 on the front. You also do have aluminum sides, which feel pretty premium. Even the thousand dollar Galaxy Note 9 is going to give you aluminum sides. So this phone feels very premium. And the design category, they also managed to get the screen to body ratio to be even more with a smaller notch up at the top of the OnePlus 6T versus the OnePlus 6 and a smaller chin at the bottom. So it feels like a more all screen design than the OnePlus 6 ever was able to achieve. And that right there makes the OnePlus 6T to me a winner. It's also only 185 grams, so lighter than the 10S Max, lighter than the Galaxy Note 9 as well. So a very light for a large device at 6.41 inches. Okay, so the reason why the OnePlus 6T is a winner in the display department is because it has an AMOLED screen or an optic AMOLED display that is. It has a bigger screen than any OnePlus device before it here and it's 402 pixels per inch so that's pretty respectable although it seems like OnePlus keeps putting the same quality panel on all their OnePlus devices instead of bringing a 2K screen a uh, better battery life without a 2K screen but I would still like to see that but I find this one to be better calibrated than ever before and you can also change those calibration settings in your display settings right here under screen calibration P3 sRGB default adaptive mode and your own custom color so the OnePlus 6T has a ni a lot of nice tweaks you can do to its display and it's also very large you can also hide that notch if you just hate notches altogether even if they're like this little droplet notch right here so if we go down you can go to notch display and you can go ahead and get rid of it so when watching videos on this display as well you can see that the chin is a little more noticeable than on phones that bring it all the way to the edge but over here this is a lot less distracting than the thicker notch you've seen on the OnePlus 6 so it just feels like you have closer than ever to an all screen phone which i really do love about this phone. And okay, so the OnePlus 6T is a win when it comes to software due to the OnePlus launcher combined with the Android 9 Pie latest software. Right away you're going to notice the way you do navigate through multitasking is side to side now, very similar to the Google Pixel. Now heading into settings, there's a lot of useful tweaks in here as well. If you have some accent colors as well to make this more personal than ever, you also have an ability to change to whatever specific color you do like. You also have different themes, so you can make this a dark theme at night. You can make it a colorful theme lots of little tweaks that are nice now if we go into button and gestures you also have the ability to have different ways to navigate you have back home and recents you also have the pixel style navigation you also have navigation gestures which we all know what that's similar to it's very similar to the apple iphone and you can also go ahead and click hide the navigation bar if you decide to keep it on the older side now you also have some quick gestures like three finger screenshot which is pretty nice touch that's actually quite useful and you have the ability to set up face unlock screen pin you know passcodes all the android stuff you're used to as well as the all new in display 
fingerprint sensor. Okay, so talking about this in-display fingerprint sensor, it's the first one to come to US shores as most phones don't have that here just yet. So this is an exclusive feature for now on the OnePlus 6T only available at T-Mobile in the States. This fingerprint sensor feels very modern and futuristic. However, I found that the setup process was slower than a traditional fingerprint sensor. I'm just gonna have to get used to this because the last few phones on the OnePlus, the OnePlus 5T as well as the OnePlus 6 had the fingerprint sensor on the back. So you're gonna have to remember if you're coming from those that it's on the front now. This fingerprint sensor does authenticate with all the applications that do authenticate with fingerprint like you would have on any other device. So that's pretty cool. So performance, with a Snapdragon 845, eight gigabytes of RAM and an Adreno 630 GPU, the OnePlus 6T is just gonna fly through everything you do. Lower the animation speeds and you have an even quicker device with the clean software it does have on board. This phone is a rocket in speed, one of the fastest Android phones you're gonna be able to pick up. Okay, so it's a win again when it comes to battery because OnePlus has updated from the OnePlus 6 at 3300 milliamp hour to the 6T at 3700 milliamp hour. So not quite the 4000 cell in the Samsung device, but with Oxygen OS and the more clean Android experience on here, the battery life has been almost identical to that phone for me. It's getting me at least five and a half, six hours on screen time. And it's easily getting you through a day. Even if you're a power user, this should get you through most of the day, if not all the day stretching into the next. So when it comes to the camera, I don't think this camera is quite as good. Don't get me wrong as a Pixel 3XL, for example, or even an iPhone XS Max, but it's pretty good camera and it does have 2X zoom here. And you can also do portrait mode on this device. You have a night mode for dark photos at night, boosting the exposure, getting you a better shot, depth effects. You can also go ahead and swipe up and you have pro modes right here and many settings. It's, it's, it's just really easy to use this camera. Everything is right here in the app. You don't have to leave the app for anything. And I took a few samples, both the front and the rear, and I want you to go ahead and check out these camera samples and judge it for yourself. I haven't had too much time with the camera, but I can tell you right now, it's definitely worthy of competing with some of the flagship phones on the market. It's a pretty darn good camera, dual camera setup here for the OnePlus 6T, 16 plus 20 megapixel sensors. Okay, so when it comes to audio on the OnePlus 6T, it's still a single speaker. So we don't have dual speakers here, which is definitely an omission, and that's something you're gonna feel by not paying for a $1,000 smartphone. However, I do wanna mention that when you don't cover it up, and if you don't, it's a very loud and full speaker, which sounds almost as good as those dual speakers on some dual phones, but just with less volume because it's only a single speaker. So it's a very good single speaker, but it still can be covered up and we need to see this in the OnePlus 7. But no headphone jack on here, so you're gonna have to get used to using or buy some new Bluetooth headphones or use your dongle that comes with the OnePlus 16, but you might lose that as those are very easy to lose. Okay, so when it comes to phone call and connectivity, the 6T is a winner again, because it's not one of those phones that's gonna give you connectivity issues. It has more band support than ever, and now it's officially as supported in North America as it comes to T-Mobile. GSM phone here, so it's gonna work around the world. It's dual SIM, so it's a great travel phone. So you're not gonna have a big issue unless you're on a CDMA network like Verizon or Sprint. I don't think it supports those. I have had no drop calls so far. Now, a couple things I didn't like, no water resistance. I would like to have that here on this phone. No headphone jack, I didn't like that. And I didn't like that I couldn't place this on my wireless charger stand. That's that's about it for the OnePlus 6T. In conclusion, I'm pretty much blown away with the value proposition you get with the OnePlus 6T and it's a definite winner here. There's so much of this experience, at least hardware wise, 
when it comes to the OnePlus 6T. You get a lot of this experience when it comes to its software feeling very pixel like and they still manage to make it feel like an update over the very similar but not too old OnePlus 6. But there's one glaring issue I have with OnePlus series devices and that is their replacement cycles. It's like you have a OnePlus 6, six months later, here's a 6T. Six months later, here's a 7. Get a 7, here comes a 7T six months later. They just come out too fast and I wish OnePlus would focus on one product launch per year but overall you're going to be hard pressed to find something better in this price range if you guys found this video helpful 